Now that we've seen how we can manipulate our drivers, let's take this a step further and create an intermediate shape key. And what do I mean by that? Well, the problem with using shape keys on something like Blink is that shape keys are always interpolated linearly. The deformation is a vector movement from point A to point B, and so we can expect the eyelid to intersect with the eye halfway through the blink, especially on large eyes like this. With my Blink shape key at 50%, I'll create a new one and name it Left Eye Blink Corrective, and turn it on. Then I'll correct the eye shape, making sure apply shape keys in edit mode is turned on. Usually I'd spend a little longer fixing the shape, but this will be fine for now. A blink now looks correct at the midpoint, but because it's always on, it looks incorrect when the eye is open or closed. So what we want to do is drive the shape key to gradually turn on when left eye blink approaches 50% and gradually turn off when it approaches 0 or 100%. So again, I'll add a driver manually, and under the drivers tab, I'll change the expression to match my variable, and think about what I want to use to drive this corrective. Now we could use the original shape key. So if I change it to single property and change the ID type to key, we could select the shape key and drive it from there. The problem I found with stacking drivers on top of each other like this is that they don't always update properly. So instead, I'll drive the shape key from the blink control. At the moment, it's at its default 0 to 1 position, so let's think about how to set this up properly. First, I'll hide the left eye blink curve so that it doesn't get in the way. The first and last keyframes should be minus 2 and 2 to match our control. Now, at minus 2, we want our keyframe to be switched off, and at 2, we also want our keyframe to be switched off, but at 0, we want it to be switched on. Select the view tab and zero out the cursor so that we're at frame zero. Now make sure the corrective is selective and press I to insert a keyframe and click only selected channels. Now with the keyframe selected, I'll set the value to one so that a corrective key shape turns on at 50% and turns off at zero or 100%. You can refine the behaviour further by tweaking the Bezier handles to control the curve. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you like these rigging tutorials, please do let me know in the comments because like no one's really been watching them like the views have been uh, noticeably low so do let me know if you're interested in them and maybe I'll do some more but if not then I think I'm probably gonna go back to the um, the arty stuff oh, and also let me know if you want me to do some streaming again I'm, th I'm thinking about it I'm not sure yet but we'll, we'll see we'll see let, let me know in the comments all right peace